Hi everyone, welcome back. This is my first video for January. I think some have gone up, but they were filmed last year, so this is the first one I'm filming in January. Um, I've been sick for the entire month so far. I mean, today's only the 7th or 8th, I think. The 8th, yeah. But uh, finally, I wanted to film for you a flip through of my journal as it sits now. Um, I have decorated and I'm really itching to start writing. I've just been um, collecting um, notes inside of my weeks, just some rough scribbly notes uh, that I can then use to transfer into here. Uh, but in real life, <laughs> I will um, just write directly into here. Um, so this is the Hobonichi A6 Tweed cover from Malia Kent. And if you saw my unboxing, you know that I am infatuated with this cover it's just so pretty it's perfect for me it's exactly it's exactly me I just love it so much I love the detailing I love the gold or the pink uh, it's just gorgeous and um, yeah I've been mucking about with it quite a bit and doesn't seem to have worn at all which is nice um, I was concerned about this gorgeous pen gems keychain the pave crystal here pulling on the tweed but it doesn't it doesn't catch at all there's no rough bits on here it's just perfect for it although I do have a bunch of other new charms which you'll see soon uh, which I'm tempted to switch in onto here and that's the beauty right you can chuck things on whenever you like just change it up why not uh, the ribbon is beautiful it's just I don't know it's just a stunning 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 planner love 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 uh, zip around as you can see so I thought I'd just give you a quick flip through and show you the deco that I've done so far in terms of the um, spreads and give you a bit of an idea because I may not share much of this. What I might do is show you some pre-decorating prior to actually um, planning in it. So I'll get to that uh, while, we, while we go through it. So here's the inside of the planner. One thing I love about it is the pale leather. It's just like a raw leather. It's just gorgeous and I, I like I like it light inside the planner. I do have a couple of dark ones that I haven't moved into yet but and I will be soon but I really love this lightness in here. Just gorgeous. So I have uh, some dot stickers here from Live Love and Craft Paper Craft. I have this beautiful hollow pink bow from That's Fantastic. Uh, my lovely mine Coco Girl and some of my favourite washies here from Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, I think there's Sakura Moshi Design Co. behind there and Hobby Hoppers as well. My little May Paper Co. Mademoiselle um, card that I've added some Hobby Hoppers washi to as well. And I have some sticky notes here from Sakura Moshi Design Co. too. And this little paper clip is from Simply Danny Creations. And as you can see, I have a washi dashboard introducing the planner and uh, I filmed this setup, so I filmed the full um, making of this dashboard. Um, I, I'd love opening to this page and my little no judging sticky here. I've just washied it on so that I can move it around should I wish to. And also in here I have my Quebeco Sport in the rose gold. Uh, it's just a nice size to fit inside this planner and I have in it the summer purple ink. Um, which is super pretty. Unfortunately, you won't see that in here because I haven't written in here yet. So, no deco here yet. I'm actually tempted just to stick these two pages together because, you know, it's one of those ones that's attached to the cover. The pages attached to the cover anyway. Um, this is the English version of the planner, so it's the one that's black on the front rather than the um, cream color. And so this is all in English. I'm not using this as a planner, I'm using it as simply a journal and so therefore this calendar stuff I may not use. Still deciding about this section, maybe you know, maybe I'll do something with it but no plans at this stage to use this for anything. Um, and you know as the year is progressing, it's already the 8th of January, um, I feel like I'm getting behind so uh, I'm not sure what I'll do with that. What I have done is just for fun decorated the months um, and just the J December and January. So here we have just some Coffee Monsters Co. Christmas washi. How could I not? This gorgeous grid washi from Hobby Hoppers with the Bunny and Moon um, scripts. They're my favourite scripts to use. And um, this yellow washi here is Christmassy with little gingerbread men, acorns and candy canes and marshmallows that's come on a package from Lovely Mine uh, on the back of the envelope so I just popped it in I thought it was too cute not to. 
And then here's January for 2022 set up with uh, Create With Pen predominantly. Again, more Hobby Hoppers, Grid Washi. And now I have a gold January from Bunny and Moon. I think the idea here is I'm going to be popping in an emoji a day. I, I used to do my cousin an emoji and some words. Um, but then I would put words, that was my cousin. So I had words here, I had words in my weekly, and then I had words in my daily and it became too much and repetitive so I think what I'll do here is like I said just an emoji a day and then um, just save the words for the dailies and that's one of the reasons I moved back to A6 um, because it doesn't have the weeklies even though I absolutely adored uh, decorating the weeklies it's one of my favorite things to do um, I just then had all these blank daily pages at the back, so I really pref would prefer, I think, to do to do it this way. And um, anyway, we'll talk about that more when I get to it. So I haven't decorated any more months. I kind of want to do them um, probably on camera, like I'll do them with you as the months come up. So the last month in this planner is the twenty uh, is twenty twenty three March. And then what happens is you skip to this one that's called turning the page to a new year. And uh, so in my cousin, sorry, no, in my A6 from 2020, what I did on this spread was write, I don't want to call it a letter to myself, but it was just, just writing my intentions for the journal. Uh, I kind of reviewed how the previous year had gone and what I wanted to do in the year coming up and uh, maybe some of the things I wanted to achieve, stuff like that. Actually, I might go back and read that again before I write this in here. Anyway, what I've done is just a teeny bit of decorating. I've got my grid washi from Hobby Hoppers across the bottom, and then the rest of the stickers here are from Toku Betsu Mamori. Uh, I'll leave a link to her shop. It's fabulous. Um, and I've done um, an unboxing of the package from her shop, which I'd recommend you watch if you like this kind of stuff, because so much cute, cool stuff in there. So that's the plan for this page. And then you skip, you then move directly into the month of January. So what I've done is got the die cut calendars from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I'm just going to do exactly this on each of the coming up pages for the beginning of the month. Um, and just do a little bit of deco. My focus is really on the actual daily journaling. So I kind of don't want to overwhelm things. But anyway, let's see what happens throughout the year, right? The year always changes for me. <laughs> so um, what I've done for the 1st of January is taken these cute stickers from uh, Notebook Therapy. They came in the uh, Suki 2022 Lucky Bag. Um, and I have an unboxing for that as well on my channel. And that was a mystery box and it had just the most gorgeous stuff in it. And there was this set of like washi paper stickers. So I've just popped some of these down. I thought these were good and representative for a new year. Uh, I think they're just perfect for that. All while I'm here, let's talk tabs. So on here I have my Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, monthly tabs. They are super cute and um, I added the notes tab at the end here just because I hadn't spaced them properly really so um, I love these I think they're adorable I have a white set as well that I've put into my weeks um, and th they come with weekly monthly and yearly as well um, but I don't have weekly in here so I'm gonna save those for my cousin um, which I have some other tabs as well uh, anyway you'll see that when the time comes so that's January 1st. As I said, I've got notes in my weeks that I'm going to transfer across to here um, very soon, as soon as I finish filming, actually. For Sunday, I just put down some um, simple washi from Moon Hollow Design Co. and one of her stickers as well to match. And then I think this is my favorite of all of them so far. It's so simple and pretty. I have grid washi here from Hobby Hoppers. I have this cute bubble washi from... Um, Hobonichi and this little stamp sticker which is from Point Blank Co. Stationery. I just think this is nice and simple, that hint of pink which is just me and yeah I think it's just nice so yeah so that's that and then um, Tuesday here I have some really cute stuff from the Powder World again a bit of grid washi from Hobby Hoppers and this the rest of the stickers here are from the Powder World I just thought something simple. I love this idea of a color palette as well. And I will do some like lettering on here, I think, with the brush pens. 
on all of these pages most likely. So anyway, contrasting this kind of, um, I don't know what we call that, that style. Um, I have the super cute stuff here on the right. I'm more of that bubble washi from Hobby Hob from Hobonichi, but it's uh, yellow, not pink. And then this day was the day that my orders from Hello Paper Cat and sorry, Hello Paper Cat and Paper Echoes arrived. So I just popped down these little guys to signify that. I just thought they're super cute. How can I not? And yeah, I'll just write a little bit about Wednesday on there. And then I think Thursday and Friday is probably the end of my decorating. I have um, more Powder World stuff here, macarons, cake, and coffee. How can you not? <laughs> I think that's Bobber Tea, actually. Um, yeah, so I just, you know, not much is happening in this first week because I've been so sick. I've just been sleeping a lot, so um, I don't need a lot of room for journaling. But still, I also like the idea of just decorating for, for fun. And on this side, I have my cute little Batman is my BF um, magnetic clip from Hello Paper Cat. And then just some, uh, this was a sampler sticker from Marshmallow Studio. And then this super cute one with the marshmallow, um, <laughs> marshmallow inside the washi. Uh, I just thought that's adorable and gives me a bit of room to write because um, I did a few things on Friday. I was finally feeling a little bit better yesterday. So... Um, yeah, I thought that would be appropriate. And that's it. There's nothing else in this planner at this stage. Um, I mean, let me just pop to February actually because I did put down the February die cut because it's so cute. And because February is the pink month, I also have some Marshmallow Studio um, washi here and all these cute little um, stickers are from Point Blank Co. Stationery as well. They're Sotalia stickers, I think. And, they, you know, they're clear stickers and they're foiled and they're super cute. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the front of each month is going to look like. Um, something like that. And then that's it. I have nothing else in here. Um, I'm, I'm really wanting to chuck some tabs and things in this planner just for fun. Um, and I'm going to make them myself, I think, with my silhouette. So... Stay tuned for that and see how that turns out. I think it's going to get chunky and I'm happy with that. And then in the back here I have another washi dash. This pink and red one here with um, some Hello Kitty, some Tickle Pink planning and some Once More With Love. I just think that's the cutest thing ever. And what have I got in the back here? Let's see. Oh yeah, I've got a washi thingy I made which I was just testing um, the designs for my washi dashboard. I was just seeing what they would look like, cute as. And I have um, the business card from Hello Paper Cat here, and then the bits that came with the planner as well. The um, the little card that came with the planner. I just kept it in there just because, no particular reason, uh, except that I like the look of having something under this mesh here. So this planner does have the big pocket at the back as well, this cover I should say. So um, you know I can store stuff in there that I do want to use in here. Um, but it is, I will say, it is uh, going to be a pretty tight planner. You know I think if it gets chunky it's probably not going to close uh, again. So if I just do this up, I've still got room but it is pretty firm. So I'm keen to see how it goes, uh, if it kind of stretches, which I don't think it will. It seems pretty secure, but um, yeah, it's, it's going to get chunky. And at that point, I may have to switch out into a different cover. Not sure yet. We'll see how we go. It's early days. It's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. I just wanted to show you uh, a little walkthrough of the planner and how I'm so far decorating. I think this will probably change as time goes on. I love this this kind of look but you know I'm, I'm just obsessed with the cutesy stuff too. I can't help myself. So it will it will be a very um, what's the word I'm looking for? Eclectic. A very eclectic planner I think. A journal. It's going to have all sorts of stuff in here and I'm excited to see how that turns out. And I can't wait to get some pen in here because I just, my favourite thing about these is the feel of the paper after you've written on it, uh, particularly if you use a ballpoint pen. 
Um, I'll probably use a fountain pen, but I do often use my cleaner as well. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, uh, uh, I can't wait to get started. <laughs> All right, guys. I best stop talking. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think, and uh, let me know if you have this planner as well. Uh, this cover. I love it so much. Um, Alright, I'm done. I'll see you all super, super soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.